Oh, that rock does say naked. Yeah. Oh, it does. I got a little dog bone. All right, cool. There's a dog bone. So we'll pull these little cameras out. We're gonna park, and then we'll see. Oh, yeah, there's a dog bone. Tabitha can walk over by. Okay. That, that ain't a dog bone, guys. <laughs> oh trying. my God, you found a dog bone. That's trying to be nice. <laughs> That's not a dog bone. I'm trying to be nice. It looks like a dog bone. No, it doesn't look like a dog bone. No, if you squint. Tabitha Stevens should know the difference that between a dog, right, dog bone. Time out. Let me explain something. Like a dog bone. All right, time out. We shot in June of this particular year, yes. and it was an extraordinarily hot year. Most of the locations were in the Mojave Desert near Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and we had a few days that were pushing 120 degrees, one of which was especially miserable. Do you remember that one? Oh, I remember it so much that I think somebody else was more miserable than I was. And I had to do my makeup outside on location in the sun. Uh, <laughs> so I'm sitting outside with this mirror rig. Remember you made that rig of this with this mirror and I had my metal case out with all my makeup in it. And then I had to like put the cooler next to it because I had to kind of put meltable makeup inside the cooler because it was so hot. So as soon as I'm putting this stuff on, I start sweating. It's just dripping off my face. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, I remember that. That was just, that was brutal. You had a bad day that day. You, did, you had a problem with equipment. Uh, what else? There was just all, you did not have a good day. So I tried to lighten up the mood like I always do because, well, that's just me. And uh, yeah, I remember those things that I did to make you laugh. We shot exposure over a period of about a week. And it was the most miserable. Oh, that's right. I thought it was, was it two weeks? It was, it was a week? week. It oh, was a damn. week. And it was, well, a long week. And it was miserable because of the heat. And we yes. were going to different locations all the time. And we did a few things with um, water, which she liked a lot. So what Tabitha was referring to was there was a dry lake out in the Devil's Playground that we shot at. And it was really crazy, crazy hot. Well, the next day after that, we went up into this like rocky wilderness area. And in this one, she had pigtails in, her hair was up, and she was wearing these giant uh, like platform heels. Remember with the, yes. with the was it leopard or cheetah print? Yes, but that wasn't Animal the day where print. you were, were angry. No, that wasn't. But on this okay. particular day, I put her up on these rocks oh, yeah. really high where there was kind of a precarious, well, it was a death fall on the other side. <laughs> Let's see. And so we had to kind of like lift you up to get you up onto these yes. rocks. Well, let's so reference, that was... I'm sorry, as well. Our friend Michael Boland was part of this. So there was the three of us out there. So he was assisting and I couldn't get to, to climb to the boulders. I mean, I'm wearing these super high heels. So he piggybacked me across from one way to the other. So I didn't have to walk through. I, there's no way I could have really walked through the sand. You know, well, it was rocks. really rugged terrain. That was crazy. In those, in those shoes, there's no way she could have walked. There's so we had no to carry way. her over to that location. Yeah, so he piggybacked me over. Yeah, probably huh? the worst day, though, was a day where um, Tabitha was wearing this, like, primal, like, kind of bikini top thing. She had a loincloth and, like, a bikini top thing that was not strapped on the bottom. And that was the crazy hot day. It was, like, 120 degrees. That and was the makeup outside day. Yeah, and it was it was horrible horribly miserable and i was so bummed because i really wanted to get these really mm -hmm. great shots and her outfit was really insane but then literally right when we started filming the wind started blowing and she could not keep these things over <laughs> her couldn't. boobs no they kept flopping over and y things are happening with your equipment things are breaking or something you were so mad like you were yelling at your stuff and i'm like what is he doing he needs to chill. So anyway, so I would just, I had this little, like, what was it? Like a little, it wasn't a staff. It was a stick with this little skull on it with little teeth. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, Gary's going to get mad. I remember, I, I, and this is before he even knew what I was doing. And I'm just like, I got to make him laugh or something. Because this guy is going to blow a gasket at she any minute. She made me smile for sure. Yeah, I had to make him for laugh. Sure. Well, one of the reasons it isn't that there's an arrogance attached to the frustration. No. It's the fact that, you know, a lot of the places that we film in are extraordinarily difficult to get mm -hmm. to. So 
So there may be hours, hours of driving on really bad old dirt roads where you're just getting beat up just to get to the location. And yeah. then when you get to the location, it takes a little while to set up and then you have to do all of your filming and your shooting and then you have to pack it all up and you have hours back out. So these are extraordinarily long days, 16, 17 hour days. And so when you, you go to such lengths, to such trouble, to try to get these images that you see in your head and nature and the, the, the natural, the universe is just making it so difficult for you. And, and it just becomes aggravating as can be. And, you know, you would think that over the years of doing this so much that you mm -hmm. would get used to it. But I don't know, I guess maybe that's part of being an artist is, is that once you have that image in your head, you'll just, you're hell bent on making sure you make it happen. But then you have to look at the other side of things with the model, okay? Because a lot of people don't understand. Most models, I'd want to say, I want to say 90%. You don't want to have a big lunch or anything heavy that's going in your stomach. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, with the heat, you want to look good. <laughs> Especially if you're naked or, or half-clothed, bikinis, whatever it is you're, you're wearing or not wearing. You want to look good. And we all know... You eat something that maybe has an onion in it, <laughs> something off, you're going to get bloated and gassy. You don't want to be bloated and gassy for your shoots. What? It's true. I mean, why would I want to? Yeah, let's have a bean burrito before we shoot. Sure. No, it's not going to happen. So, you know, you, you think about now, I didn't have a makeup artist. I was my own hair and makeup artist for these shoots. So you got to think, I, I have to check my hair. I got to check my makeup. I want to make sure the wardrobes are, I was my wardrobe person as well. Make sure everything's on me properly. Uh, you know, you don't want to be bloated. So you're not eating as much as you normally eat. And I can eat a lot. Yes, I am thin, but I eat a lot. And yes, I drank water, lots of water. But that's not going to, my stomach's gurgling. I'm like, I just want to eat a hamburger. Um, but you got to wait till after the shoot. So imagine you're in the heat or in the wind and all this. And you're fucking hungry. You're just hungry. Yeah, people don't, I, I can, you know, people don't yeah. think about that. But interestingly enough, and I love exposure. Again, yeah, it's it's, it's another one of our shows that is pretty racy, uh, not safe for work. <laughs> so look in the link for the description as to where you can find the uncensored version. You can go see it on Vimeo On Demand and, and, and whatnot. But I, I want to say this, though, and that is, is that for whatever reason, the shoots that are miserably difficult always seem to turn out the best. Thank they you. always turn out to be extraordinary and i think that there's something extraordinary that occurs when there is some kind of human suffering involved <laughs> it's just the way the universe works <laughs> like if there's no suffering you get something that's like ah, oh, that was okay that was nice right. but it's not unusual mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why we shoot in crazy places where no one ever shoots or hell no one ever even explores a lot of these locations that we go to they're so hard to get to and i love it that way so though so it's self-inflected suffering but knowing that when you self-inflict this suffering that, you know, you're getting an image that, that you will find nowhere else and that's extraordinary and unusual and really cool, frankly. Just really, really cool. And this is how intense we are. Every three months, we were buying him new hiking shoes. Every three months. Every I, three months. I burned through, burned through hiking that. boots, good hiking boots. Yeah, expensive. Every three months. Every three months, we had to get him a new pair. And I'm looking at his shoes. I'm like, I think it's time again. I'm like, wait, didn't we just buy you new we shoes? We did. Mine were okay, obviously. Well, you're the one hiking around more than I am. You know, I'm getting ready and whatnot. But still, you were black. I cannot believe. Right. How many pairs of shoes you went through with you? Well, that's exposure. <laughs> Enjoy it. I think we've talked enough about it. And uh, again, check the uh, links in the description below and you can get right to the, uh, the good stuff, the uncensored stuff. That's some stuff that you're going to want to see. Um, super cool. Beautiful. And uh, there you go. Anything else? That's it. Just go watch our shows. All right. I'm going to go <laughs> cut this behind the scenes video together right now.